Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our second session in the State Senator Ram Vilivalam Virtual Job Fair Series. Today, we will be hearing from 10 employers hiring for various positions across multiple industries. Each employer will speak for five minutes to give you some information about their company and will highlight the job openings they currently have. If you have questions at any time, please type them into the chat and we will address them during the Q&A session that will be taking place after all employers have presented. At the end of the Q&A session, we will hear from the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, IDES, and Illinois WorkNet to learn about some additional resources that are available to assist you with your job search. If you have not already, please be sure to register for Friday's breakout room session where you will have an opportunity to communicate directly with employer representatives. A link to the registration page will be provided in the chat. Please note, you will need to be sure to register for each session individually. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available in the employer booths for you to refer to later. Now I am pleased to introduce State Senator Ram Vilivalam. Senator? <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Uh, as was mentioned, my name is Ron Vilivalam. I am the state senator for the 8th district, which includes uh, 21 neighborhoods in the city of Chicago, from Albany Park to West Rogers Park, uh, and five suburbs in Cook County, Lincolnwood, Skokie, Niles, Morton Grove, Glenview, and uh, also unincorporated displays. Uh, I do want to acknowledge uh, our uh, other elected partners, um, Representative uh, D'Amico, uh, and also Representative Stoneback, who you'll hear from as well. Uh, I um, first uh, want to thank everyone for joining us this morning. Uh, I want to thank those who were able to participate in Monday uh, Monday's event uh, that focused on soft skills uh, for uh, interviews and 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 you know going out for jobs. Uh, obviously, today is the second uh, and the third out of three days of of this event. Uh, we know uh, this is an incredibly difficult time, uh, both. For those that are looking for employment, uh, our office has uh, been able to help 750 people with uh, their unemployment insurance issues uh, with uh, helping them contact the Illinois Department of Employment Security and giving them information that we have to ensure that they get their benefits. Uh, so clearly folks are experiencing unemployment. Uh, while we help that on that front, the constituent service front to make sure uh, they can try to get their benefits and if they need help with, if you all need help, anyone needs help with food delivery, medication delivery, whatever it is. Uh, the other part of the equation is uh, helping people find jobs. And obviously our economy is, is changing. Uh, and so we need to uh, be able to react to that. We need to be able to uh, ensure that um, the companies that are looking for workers are able to find the workers uh, that, that they that they need and um, that are that are uh, you know uh, match up with the jobs that that are available. Um, I do want to thank our partners today uh, for putting this event on. Uh, this would not have been possible without their work and their expertise. Um, folks from uh, the Illinois Department of Employment Security, uh, Cook, Cook Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, the Northside American Job Center. Uh, the uh, and the North Suburban Cook County American uh, Job Center as well. And so uh, we are just thankful for them for all the work that they're doing. In addition to them, I want to thank the employers uh, for taking uh, time out of their day to to be here to provide information uh, on uh, the jobs that they have available and you know what their company is about and what's happening right now. So we have Amazon, CVS Health, Fifth a Third Bank, Flex, uh, Illinois Department of Human Services, uh, newly, newly Weds Foods, North Shore University, Health System, uh, Northwestern Medi Medicine, Sonico, uh, Worldwide Flight Services, uh, and many more. And so um, uh, we, we are just thankful for them to, to make themselves available as well. Uh, it looks like we have a full house. We have about, I, I see 140 participants. Um, so we, uh, we hope uh, this is fruitful. I know it will be um, given how Monday's session went and given the expertise of the folks that are gonna be presenting today. So with that, um, hopefully this is helpful. Thank you for uh, joining us. And if you have any questions or, or need any assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to our office. I am uh, very fortunate to have a partner um, in the work that we're trying to do in the 8th State Senate District. Uh, uh, newly elected uh, Representative uh, Denise Stoneback, 
uh, who um, uh, is uh, sponsoring this uh, job fair with us and would like to invite her to uh, say a few words as well. Thank you, Senator uh, Vili Vallum. Yes, as um, he mentioned, my name is Denise Stoneback. I was just recently inaugurated. Um, I'm excited to represent the 16th district and uh, which includes parts of Skokie, Morton Grove, Lincolnwood and Chicago. Um, access to jobs and employment benefits are something that's really important to our district, um, especially in these challenging times. And it's great to be able to connect people seeking employment with uh, potential employers. Um, we're really thankful that we can provide this connection for our community, and I'm so excited to be partnering with Senator Vili Vallum and Representative uh, D'Amico and all of our partners, the employers and um, WorkNet, the Chicago Cook uh, Workforce Partnership, um, all of our partners. We're really grateful to you, and thank you everyone for coming. Thank you so much, Senator, and thank you so much, Representative, for your introductory remarks. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and begin our presentation portion of the event. Arlene with Amazon, are you available to present? Hello, Daniel. Yes, I'm ready. Fantastic. You can begin whenever you're ready, Arlene. Good morning, everyone. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for your interest in Amazon. Thank you, Senator. And thank you to everyone that put this call together. Uh, my name is Arlene Caro, and I'm a staffing coordinator that hires warehouse associates and whole food shoppers in the Chicagoland area and northern suburbs. Um, on the next slide, we'll just go over a quick summary of what uh, this is going to be about. So we'll do a quick introduction, why Amazon, an overview of the hourly roles and the hiring process. Um, and then at the end, we'll do a Q&A. On the next slide, we'll talk about why Amazon. So Amazon is a global company and our mission is to become Earth's most customer centric company. We work in teams in different warehouses across different business lines and it all comes together to deliver quality packages to customers worldwide. Uh, on the next slide, we'll discuss our benefits, we'll discuss pay. So all of our, all of our positions start with the base pay of $15 an hour. Some shifts may include shift differentials, but benefits will range depending on role types. Our positions can be seasonal, regular, part-time, full-time, or flex. And you'll learn more about the benefits during your orientation. Growth at Amazon. Amazon hourly associates are among those on the front line fulfilling customer orders, online shopping orders, and can enjoy opportunities to advance in the company. On the next screen, we'll discuss the three career advancement opportunities that Amazon provides. We do strive to maintain an environment where people can learn, adapt, and excel. Amazon wants you to succeed in your career, even if it is outside of Amazon. The first one is career choice. This is where Amazon prepays up to 95% of tuition and fees to earn certificates and associate degrees in high demand occupations, such as aircraft mechanics, computer aided design, medical laboratory science, just to name a few. So there's plenty more. And I do recommend that I do, oh, can, can everyone hear me? I do see in the chat, somebody cannot hear. I am able to hear you, Arlene. You're able to hear me? Okay, okay. For the most part, we're getting yes. Okay, I'll just go ahead and continue. Um, I hope that the audio can be adjusted for that individual. Uh, the next one is career skills. Several of these programs provide a huge opportunity for anyone who needs more technical skills to move into better paying roles by providing and training the industry a certification needed to make it happen. And Associates Who Tech. This is a 90-day program that provides on-the-job IT training to fulfill um, to fulfillment center associates the opportunity uh, to move into technical roles regardless of their previous IT experience and within Amazon's vast operations network. There's plenty more details on these three programs, but I do encourage you to, uh, to check it out and make sure you're staying up to date with it because they can change. Now in this slide, we'll discuss whether it is school, another job, or you just need a, a flexible schedule. Amazon does offer flexible part-time or reduced time schedules um, that allow you the opportunity to pick up your shifts that work best for you. Um, you'll pick them up weekly, and these are available at a Whole Foods or Prime Now buildings. And we'll talk a little bit more about what those buildings uh, include. So 
So the health and safety of our employees and contractors around the world continues to be our top priority as we face these challenges associated with COVID-19. Leaders across Amazon are meeting every day to consider the evolving situation that are and are consulting with medical experts to ensure we are doing all that we can to keep our teams healthy. Temperature checks are done at the warehouse. We practice social distancing, masks and gloves are required and provided in our facilities. And we have enhanced our cleaning and disinfecting. We do continue to review our procedures daily. Now, there's going to be plenty of business lines, so it all just depends on what the application um, is specifically for. In this slide, we'll talk about fulfillment centers. So you'll work inside of a warehouse, selecting, packing, and shipping customer orders. If you like fast-paced physical positions that get you up and moving, this is the location for you. Next, we have sortation centers where packages arrive from the fulfillment centers, and you'll sort them down to a zip code level, and they'll be sent to the customer. Next, we'll have delivery stations. In this active job, you'll sort, scan, and load customer orders to fulfill same day and two day sh shipping delivery time. And our Prime Now is gonna be working with a small team to select and pack orders to get items ready for delivery in an hour. Since orders may include fresh and frozen items, it can be a cooler environment, just like being a personal shopper in a grocery store, except it's in a warehouse. Next is our Amazon Prime, excuse me, our Amazon Fresh. This is our grocery delivery service. You'll be making customers days by gathering and packing orders for perfect delivery. We offer fresh, frozen, and packaged groceries, and you'll be able to, you'll be provided the right gear to work in this refrigerator area. And our Whole Foods Market. Shoppers in Whole Foods using, are going to be using an Amazon provided device to select items message customers if a replacement is needed, and you'll pack groceries for one to two hour delivery. And I do realize this is a little late, but our typical shift schedules do include both full-time and part-time opportunities. So this would be morning, midday, late night, and overnight shifts. It all just really depends on what the business needs, but most of our buildings are open 365 days a year. Now, what are jobs at Amazon like? Relaxed dress code, you'll dress safe, casual, but you still wanna make sure that you're able to move around comfortably. You'll be standing, walking for about four to 10 hours a day, and you must be able to lift up to 49 pounds, and you may need to learn how to operate pit, but this is with or without reasonable accommodation. Now for our hiring process. So probably the most important part, the first step is applying online. Our process usually takes two to three weeks from the moment that somebody applies. So you'll receive a 30 minute virtual job preview to learn more about your role at Amazon. You'll schedule an office hours in person appointment with us. And then you'll go to this appointment, bring your proof of identity and employment eligibility. This is where we process your drug test, your background check, your I-9 and answer any questions. After you leave our office hours, you're waiting for your day one confirmation orientation emails, and then you're able to start on your day one. Now for our last slide is the website to apply. So apply now at amazon.com slash Chicago Hourly Jobs. If you already have an existing profile, you can easily log in at amazon.force.com. But if you do not see any openings or any positions in your area, I do recommend to also sign up for job alerts by texting Chicago Now 9 to the phone number 77088. That way, if it's not there, we reach out to you once there is something in your area. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much for that uh, thorough an in-depth presentation, Arlene, much appreciated. And I just do want to uh, state, if you do have any questions for Arlene regarding employment and Amazon um, or any other questions regarding you know, the application process, please feel free to enter those into the chat. and We will get those answered for you during the Q&A session that will be taking place later. Thank you so much, Arlene. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Up next, we have CVS Health. Tracy, are you available to present? Yes, good morning. Can everyone hear me okay? There's a little bit of background noise, Tracy, but other than that, yes. All right, how's that? Perfect. You can begin whenever you're ready, Tracy. 
Good morning. Thank you, Senator and legislative guests, as well as the various employers and job seekers on today's call. My name is Tracy Britton. I'm a senior manager with CVS Health in a department called Workforce Initiatives. Today, I'd like to speak to you about preparing for a career with CVS Health. Next slide. So I'd like to formally introduce you to my company, CVS Health. As many of you know, CVS is a retail corporation. The first CVS store was opened in 1963 in Lowell, Massachusetts, and was known then as Consumer Value Store. Next slide. Three years after we opened, we innovated. And that has been one of the values that we have consistently had over um, the, the, the 50 plus years that we've been in business. And we opened our first pharmacy department. Over the years, our growth is contributed by acquisitions. In 1972, we doubled in size. In 1978, we again innovated and we opened small health and beauty stores in enclosed shopping malls. And then in 2001, we introduced the extra care card becoming the first national pharmacy retailer to launch a loyalty card program. Next slide. Key events over the next 12 years really transform the consumer health experience from acquisition of Minute Clinic. Some of you may be familiar with going into our retail store and if you have, you know, the sniffles or if you have an earache, you can be seen by a licensed nurse practitioner um, with, you know, without scheduling an appointment. Um, so in our minute clinics, you can get treated for routine ailments, um, you know, Monday through Sunday, seven days a week. Um, you can make an appointment online or you can just simply walk in. We transform again, the consumer health experience with the acquisition of minute clinic, as, I'm, as I mentioned, but we also completed an acquisition of Aetna in 2018, um, which is a healthcare organization. Next slide. Oh, with this particular slide, I wanted to, I wanted to show you a one minute video, but I understand given the, the number of participants on the call, we're unable to run the video. Um, so we'll move to slide six, Daniel. All right. So, this is what you really want to know about. How do you, how do you uh, apply for opportunities with CVS Health? Well, before you start searching for jobs, um, I wanted to share with you that our application process is online. You can search for jobs that you're qualified for or interested in on our career site, www.jobs.cvshealth.com. Additionally, on this slide, there are several tips that can assist to make this process much easier. Uh, for you job seekers, you definitely wanna make sure that you have an updated resume and references handy. You wanna ensure that you're using a working email. All of the communications that our corporate recruiters use will be sent via uh, email um, to, your, to your inbox, your email inbox. And then, I'm gonna put my recruiter hat on because I started my career with CVS Health as, as a corporate recruiter. You definitely wanna make sure that you read the, the job description in its entirety prior to applying to any job. You wanna make sure that the, the, the scope of the responsibilities that we're, we're looking for candidates to have, that, um, that you can fulfill those responsibilities because when we bring you into an interview, we want to, we're, we're going to be asking you questions about your background. So this will ensure that you are applying for a job that you are qualified for again, and then it increases your chances of moving forward in the, the selection process. Next slide. The virtual job tryout is part of the application process for our high volume jobs. So you'll be asked to take um, what we call internally a BJT as part of the application process. What the BJT is, is an online application or an assessment 
that gives you an opportunity to learn about the job and try it out. Um, so there, are, there will be, uh, it's like assimilation in an assessment that gives you a high level overview of what kind of questions or, or what kind of tasks that you'll be responsible for. Um, and you have an opportunity to complete the assessment. And at the end of that assessment, you know, it'll, it'll give you insight whether or not this is a job that you're interested in. It's just one of the ways that we use, it's, it's one of the assessment tools that we use to evaluate an applicant in making objective, fair hiring decisions. So we'll move to the next slide, Daniel. So growth, growth with CVS Health. You can grow through our Department of Labor Registered Apprenticeship Program. We established the, the first apprenticeship program in 2005. Uh, we were the first employer to launch a DOL registered apprenticeship program for the pharmacy technician occupation. And so um, we as an organization, we have uh, been involved in a number of initiatives um, uh, under the American Apprenticeship Initiative, so AAI, in partnering with grant awardees to deliver pre-apprenticeship and apprenticeship outcomes in five states. In 2015, Department of Labor invited CVS Health to be a part of the Apprenticeship USA uh, to be among leaders of excellence in apprenticeship development, education, and research. So I wanted to give you that backdrop because you do have an opportunity to grow your career through a registered apprenticeship program if you're interested in the pharma pharmacy technician occupation. Next slide. So we're hiring. Um, as of Friday, uh, January 29th, there were over 1,400 retail openings across the state of Illinois, in uh, across the state of Illinois, with a large majority of those open positions in District 8. We offer full-time and part-time positions for our retail store associates. Um, if you're looking for uh, leadership opportunities, we have shift supervisors. We have operation managers and operation supervisors. Um, all three of those positions coming with a very thorough training program. And then our store manager in training program. Again, it's another robust training program where you'll be responsible for, um, you know, managing a, a store um, and the, the talent that you hire into that store. Um, and then, of course, pharmacy technician, uh, that is an occupation that we have in our, obviously, in our retail store. And again, that is an apprenticeable occupation. Um, before we move to the next slide, Daniel, um, I'd like to share with you that um, at the end of today's session, I do have some information that I can send out to the participants of the call. Um, uh, some information on each of the roles that we're hiring in our retail stores, a brief description. And I also want to provide, I will also provide you with the link so that you can download our, um, our app to apply for jobs right on your, right on your smartphone. And Tracy, this is Daniel. Sorry to interject, but we will uh, have approximately one minute uh, remaining before we'll have to wrap up. Perfect. And the final slide, Daniel. So the final slide, workforce initiatives. This is the department that I work in. If you, if you are a job seeker on today's call where you're interested in an opportunity and you may not have all of the skills in my role, I'm responsible for working with community-based organizations like the Cook County Workforce Board, also known as the Partnership. I work very closely with them. And so um, if you're looking for training opportunities to close the gap with competencies so that you qualify for opportunities with CVS Health, you can reach out directly to myself or you can reach out to the Cook County Workforce Partnership so that we can get you connected with training that you'll need, and then employment with our organization. So thank you very much for the time today. Thank you so much for your presentation, Tracy. And for the folks who are job seekers on the call, if you do have questions regarding employment at CVS Health or just any general inquiries regarding the application process, please feel free to enter those into the chat and we'll get those answered for you after uh, all employers have presented. 
Next, we have Fifth Third Bank. Heather, are you available to present? I am. You can begin whenever you're ready, Heather. Great. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. And I'm glad to be able to be here and tell you a little bit more about Fifth Third Bank and our job opportunities. Um, I am our talent acquisition consultant for our retail division. Um, I also assist on the mortgage side as well. Um, but I want to start off by telling you a little bit about our history. I won't read through everything, but we've been around since 1858. Um, Fifth Third Bank has been helping to improve the well-being of individuals, families, businesses, and communities. Um, in addition to providing financial products and services, we, you know, we live um, the third has lived its commitment to earn trust and build value with our customers and the communities. Um, you'll see there in 1882, the Queen City National Bank of Cincinnati, which eventually changed its name to the Fifth National Bank, was organized September 28th of 1882. And then in 1908, with the turn of the century, came the union of the Third National Bank and the Fifth National Bank to form the Fifth Third National Bank of Cincinnati on June 1st of 1908. Next slide, please. Um, so you'll see here Fifth Third Bank, um, like I said, was established in 1858. Our geographic and market presence, um, you'll see is we have about, there's probably a little bit more now, but about 1,100 banking centers and almost 2,500 ATMs. Um, and then we are 169 billion in assets. We, we rank number 325 on the Fortune 500. And we operate four main businesses, commercial banking, branch banking, consumer lending, and wealth and asset management. Our workforce includes 19,000 plus employees. Um, and we are making a bigger footprint here in Chicago as well. Next slide. Thank you. Um, our vision is to be the one bank people most value and trust. And our purpose is to listen to customers and to inspire them with smart financial solutions that continually improve their lives and the well being of our communities. Um, we have core uh, bank values that we really live by uh, integrity, respect, and inclusion, one bank, and accountability. These are um, core values that we look at in reviews and all year, year round in every role that you could be in with our company. Um, so we are also a leader in helping individuals and communities flourish. So the first financial institution in the United States to establish a charitable foundation. Um, we provide financial products and services that we want for our own family, families competitively priced with clear terms and disclosures and offering fair and consistent service. We are committed to being the one bank people most value and trust, which is really important for us, and serving all of your personal banking, business banking, and investment needs throughout our footprint. Next slide. Thank you. you this is just a picture just to kind of show you, um, you know, that we serve our customers, our communities, coworkers, organization. It's really important for us to um, truly put ourselves out there and help with the community, but help with our employees and our customers. It's extremely important. Next slide. Um, so our lines of business, which I touched on just briefly, um, branch banking. So those are our financial centers. Um, they serve as a primary point of contact for our customers. Um, full range of deposit and lending products to individuals, as well as products designed to meet the specific needs of small businesses, including cash management services. Um, commercial banking is another component of our lines of business and consumer lending. So with a strong network of more than 1,100 financial centers and a widespread team of consumer lending specialists, we help our customers with mortgage, home equity, education, and other types of loans. And then the last one is wealth and asset management. Um, as a full service money management firm, we feature a broad array of investments, products, strategies and services for retail and commercial clients to help them meet their financial goals. Um, so one of our positions that we are hiring is our customer service representative. So those roles, we look for candidates that have excellent customer care to 
present to our customers regarding daily transactions, addressing inquiries, and problem resolution. So similar to just a teller that we would have at our um, retail branches, um, we do require a high school diploma or GED. And this role would give you a career path into a lead customer service representative or a personal banker associate one, which is also a personal banker associate. It just means that you're through our training program and then eventually you can move into a personal banker level one role. Um, the next position are the retail personal banker one. So again, providing that excellent customer care to our customers, um, handling daily transactions. You're doing uh, a combination of teller and banking uh, in terms of sales and you know, working on the customer's accounts. We do have a 10 week onboarding program focused on classroom web and workshop learning. So like I said, 50% of it is sales and the other 50% is teller. Um, this is the entry role into a sales position and the growth possibility is a retail personal banker too. Um, there is a base uh, salary plus a monthly, quarterly and semi-annual bonus opportunity based on your branch performance. We do require one to three years of sales, customer service, and cash handling for the personal banker one. Um, for our customer service representative, um, we just require a high school diploma or GED. We do offer other positions as well. So personal banker two, which does require two to five years of sales and customer service experience. Um, and then we do have other opportunities that aren't in retail, but we have like lo mortgage loan processor positions that are um, a level one would be entry level. We have level two and three positions as well, as long as, um, as well as financial center manager associate roles. So those would be overseeing a branch and leading all of the sales and operation activities for that financial center. Our application process, all candidates would need to formally apply at www.53.com slash careers. The next step is once we get your application, we review them and follow up with you um, to ensure that you meet the, the minimum requirements of the role. We would conduct a phone interview uh, with the recruiter or talent acquisition consultant. After that is completed, we would schedule you for a phone or in-person interview with that management team. All follow-up communication comes from the recruitment team as well. And also the final step of our application process is we are ready to move forward with you with an offer. We do um, require a full FBI fingerprint check, credit check, and drug screen test for our uh, retail branch positions. I'm sure you're wondering what kind of candidates we're looking for. Um, we look for candidates that embrace and drive change, ensure high levels of performance, exhibit strong relationship management skills, and display strong business acumen. Um, encourage and promote teamwork and collaboration. That's a really big one. We are all about teamwork and collaborating together um, with your, your team and other teams outside of you know, your branch or your department. Uh, we do offer benefits. So we have health, dental, vision, 401k. We have a very competitive 401k plan. Um, we also have four weeks paid parental bonding leave and access to a maternity concierge. And then as you see here, um, flexible spending accounts, um, same gender domestic partner benefits, paid vacations. Um, we offer the 10 bank holidays and educational assistance. We do have wellness rewards, adoption benefits to help with the adoption process, and a full offering of voluntary programs like home, auto, pet, and long-term care insurances. And that is it. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for your presentation, Heather. Again, I just do want to reiterate, if you do have any questions for Heather regarding employment at Fifth Third and or any sort of application questions that you might have, please feel free to enter those into the chat and we'll get those answered after all employers have presented during our Q&A session. Next up, we have Flex. Fernando, are you available to present? Yes, thank you, Daniel. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Fernando Granados, part of the talent acquisition team at Flex. Uh, today, we will talk really quick on, about Flex and our current opportunities available and how, how you can apply to these opportunities. Next slide, please. 
Perfect. So yes, we, we will. Um, well, here uh, you will also have Alta Miller. She's part of our talent acquisition team. She will be supporting us uh, at the end of all these sessions in the Q and A section. Perfect. So, uh, well, just for you to know, we are a global company initially founded in Singapore, but it is now based in the Silicon Valley area in California. Uh, what we do is we offer design, manufacturing and supply chain logistics to a wide range of customers. Our main purpose is to make great products for our customers that create value and improve people's lives. Next slide, please. So what makes us different is that we have um, experience in, in, in different, uh, due to the scope that we have uh, worldwide, we have deep industry and cross industry experience. We also have expertise in product design, engineering, uh, as well as supply chain management. Next slide. Our foundational strength, well, we are a 24 billion plus revenue company. We rank in the global 500 fortune companies uh, with 160,000 plus employees worldwide and 100, more than 130 facilities worldwide as well. Next, please. Part of our, uh, the products that we manufacture are in different industries, including the communication enterprise and cloud where we work with top IT brands, lifestyle where we manufacture uh, different uh, products that with the latest 5G technology, consumer devices, uh, also industrial automotive where we manufacture different uh, car parts and high technology for this industry and healthcare where we um, manufacture medical devices and medical equipment for also different uh, companies. And, and this is what we actually do in our sites in Illinois. Next, please. So part of the benefits that we have it, we have medical benefits, dental, vision, uh, life insurance, we match 401k, PTO, we have tuition reimbursement and other uh, local discounts with um, retailers that we partner. Uh, and there are more benefits that, that we should include, um, but we, we will talk about that in, in a further process. So next slide, please. So how we work, we definitely are working to ensure we build a more inclusive workplace, also looking for strategies for a more sust sustainable future and, and provide an environment where our diverse workforce can thrive and reach their, pot their potential. Part of Flex recent structure includes a whole team now dedicated to the diversity and inclusion strategies to ensure equal opportunities to everyone. So just for you to have a, an overview uh, and to know a little bit of what we do at our sites in Illinois, here's some of our the areas included from our end-to-end -end manufacturing process, where we have a, from the design and prototyping area to the logistics support and, and management of, of our product. So just for you to have some visual also, here are some of the, pro the medical devices products that we're manufacturing at our, at our Buffalo Grove site. Um, so you can see that, that we work for, for different type of uh, sectors uh, on the medical industry. So on our Liberty Bill site, which is also focused a lot on the medical uh, business, what we have there is a more injection molding expertise uh, site. We have different also design and engineering services and a whole molding team uh, and tooling team. So this is this site is more focused on that part. Next, please. So just for you to know, we have different openings and different opportunities at, at both sites. We have um, op opportunities in our operations uh, team, including engineering roles uh, in the molding side, automation technician roles, facilities technicians, tooling engineers, production supervisors. We also have opportunities in our uh, procurement and supply chain warehousing side, where we have uh, shipping and receiving handler opportunities, planner scheduler, operations training coordinators. 
We have an opportunity in our finance team as a system controller, in our quality team, in quality engineering roles, quality technician roles. And in our IT department also, we have a business system analyst and software validation engineer. We are constantly uh, uploading more opportunities besides those ones that, that we showed there. So I will suggest you to, to access our, our website, which is flex.com and look for the opportunities that we have there. You'll have the option to see opportunities, not only in Illinois, but in other sites uh, in the United States. Next, please. So just for you to have a more targeted uh, job source, we, we have created a specific uh, site that Alta has shared in, our, in the chat so that you can access. It's illinois.careerarc.com. This uh, website has all of the different uh, opportunities that we have mainly in this Buffalo Grove and Liberty Bill Illinois site in case you just want to focus on that, on that one. And uh, once you access to that, a website you can click on the opportunities that you are interested you can see a little bit more of what are the what is the job description what are the requirements for the roles and it will redirect you to our career site where you will be able to apply directly to the role perfect so well in case you're interested in flex and probably may not find a position that suits your uh, profile or, or experience or, or your interest we also have other uh, staffing agencies that are working with us for temporary to hire opportunities at both sites here are the contact here's the contact information of each of the representatives from aerotech onin and Ranstad, which are the the representatives that follow up on those opportunities And that's it. Thank you very much for, for your time. Thank you so much for your presentation, Fernando. If you have any questions uh, for Fernando or for Alta regarding employment at Flex, please feel free to enter those into the chat. And as previously stated, once we reach that Q&A session, we will get those answered for you at that time. Next up, we have uh, DHS. Amelia, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Thank you. <clears throat> You can begin whenever you're ready, Amelia. Thank you. All right. Yes, my name is Amelia Gavina, and I am from the Illinois Department of Human Services. Next slide, please. The Department of Human Services is one of Illinois' Illinois' largest agency, uh, if not the largest agency, uh, with almost 13,200 employees, and we are in the business of helping. We help the citizens of Illinois gain access to social and human services programs and resources to enhance their lives. For example, um, access to food, shelter, affordable childcare, health coverage and mental health care services. These are just a few of many services that we offer. Overall, our services reach one in three citizens in the state of Illinois. Uh, under our agency, we have five divisions, and the divisions are the developmental uh, disabilities, uh, family and community services, mental health, rehabilitation services, and substance use prevention and recovery. Um, we offer an excellent benefit package, which includes holidays, sick, sick days, vacation days, personal days, state pension, uh, a deferred compensation program. Uh, we have, because the agency is so large, uh, there's definitely a lot of room and opportunities to grow within the organization. Uh, we also offer excellent tuition reimbursement and loan forgiveness programs. And if you are in a bilingual position and uh, you are bilingual, you get an extra 5% uh, pay as far as uh, life work balance. Our work week is 37 and a half hours. Uh, as far as one more thing about these benefits, um, there is no waiting period. So from day one, your benefits kick in, which is excellent. As far as insurance premiums, they are prorated based on your income because it's very important to our agency to ensure that our employees have access to affordable health care. As far as a high overview of the application process, you know, the first thing you want to do is uh, obviously go to our website, you search jobs, uh, you will 
read the posting carefully because there is two ways of applying with our agency. And it depends if the position is union or non-union. If the position is non-union, then you can move forward and apply using the online um, applicant tracking system. If the position is part of a bargaining unit, uh, you will have to continue the um, process of submitting a CMS 100 employment application. So um, once we receive your application, then we will review it. You will receive a great notice in the mail. Uh, if there's an interest, HR will contact you either to schedule an interview or offer you the position. And then um, if everything goes well, then you would start with our agency. Uh, here is a list of the high need professional job titles. We have positions in various ca categories, including professional, healthcare, technical, services, and clerical. Um, the, the positions on this slide, for the most part, require a bachelor's. Uh, registered nurses, we will hire registered nurses with an associate's degree. And all of our positions are full-time. Next slide, please. These titles on this slide either require a high school diploma or an associate's degree. Uh, the positions with the red asterisk do, uh, well, no longer require testing. So you would just submit your CMS 100. If uh, a position does require testing, um, CMS will contact you to schedule a, a date and time to test for these positions. Next slide, please. So again, the first thing you wanna do is visit our website, um, create a profile, search jobs. Again, please review the uh, job posting carefully so that you are paying attention to the window or the application window close date, um, the specific instructions on how to apply for that specific position. And then, um, you know, if you're interested, please submit your application. Next slide, please. And these are, we have five testing locations throughout the state, Chicago, Springfield, Champaign, Marianne, and Rockford. Again, all testing due to our current circumstances are by appointment only and the CMS will contact you directly to schedule testing for the specific positions that you applied for. Next slide, please. Again, we are a very large agency. We have a lot of positions, a lot of uh, various titles. So we highly recommend that you take advantage of career counseling. And what this service does is um, it basically gives you information regarding the various titles, the duties, the requirements, and they will review your resume and recommend specific jobs that you qualify for. They also review your application, give you feedback, um, identify any errors on the application, and they will also give you tips and recommendations to improve your candidacy for the position that you are applying for. Now you could either um, reach out through uh, to our career counseling office, either through email or, or via mail. I highly recommend that you take advantage uh, via take advantage of these services via email because uh, definitely you will uh, get a much faster turnaround time if you um, email them directly for services. Next slide, please. So here in this slide is our contact information. We have a recruitment team and we are here to answer any questions that you have, provide support, guidance. Uh, we are always looking for individuals who have a strong passion to help and serve. If you are bilingual, that is a huge plus. We serve all ages, race, ethnicities, and are always looking for people who can communicate and, and connect with our clients. That is very, very important. So, you know, if you're looking for a rewarding place to work, where you can go home every day knowing that you made a difference in someone's life, definitely DHS is the place for you. If you have any questions, again, this is our uh, contact information. We have a recruitment team. We um, are bilingual as well. So, um, you know, reach out. 
via email, we also take pride in responding to our customers within 24 hours. Thank you for uh, your time today and interest. Thank you so much for that presentation, Amelia. If you do have any questions regarding um, employment with DHS, and again, any sort of application related questions, please feel free to enter those into the chat and we'll get those answered for you during Q&A. Next presenter we have is Newlyweds Foods. Oscar, are you available to present? Uh, yes, sir, I'm here. Fantastic, you can begin whenever you're ready, sir. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for inviting us here today. And I'd like to quickly just thank our two senators friends for hosting um, this event. My name is Oscar Valdez. Um, I'm a talent acquisition specialist working with Newlyweds Foods. And um, next slide, please. That's a quick little picture of our fearless leader, the gentleman who's spearheading this whole, um, you know, hiring on process project. So um, next slide, please. So the first question most people ask us is who is Newlyweds Foods? Um, we, are, we are a food manufacturer. We are a producer of premium batters, breadings, coatings, spices, and seasonings. And our main clients are the processed food in, uh, industry. Um, pretty much everybody has already tried our products without even knowing it. Our customers are like McDonald's, for example. We do the breading for the chicken McNuggets. We also do breading for Burger King's nuggets. Uh, we have custom, we do the breading uh, for KFC tenders, the spices for the hot wings. We also do sweet spices and seasoning, like an example is um, the Dunkin' Donuts donut fries. Uh, we're also in people's grocery stores, neighborhood grocery stores. Uh, we do, along with, we work with other food um, manufacturers such as, such as Tyson Chicken and also Vendicamp, Vendicamp and Gordon's Fishes. So that's just a little bit what we do. Um, we are a large global company. Most people have not heard of us, but we've definitely been, um, we've touched most of, the, most of the people in this country at least. And I know we've been at um, family tables now for generations. Uh, next slide, please. A little brief history. Um, we are privately owned by the Angel family. Uh, we were established in 1932. In 1955, Newlyweds Foods, we've become the largest U.S. producer of customized foods, and we are worldwide. As you can see, between 79 and 2005, we extended out to the U.K., Australia, the Middle East, and China. Um, next one, please. Um, again, what we do is we offer superior food coatings to some of those customers that I just um, announced, just talked about just now. Versatile seasoning systems, we're always creating new ways of making our product better and new ways of producing them in large amounts. Food safety and uh, maintenance of functional ingredients is our priority. So we make sure that our customers are always getting um, the highest quality food. Uh, customer, consumer products, packaging and custom formulization are all part of our R&D um, department and we're constantly breaking through, um, you know, hopefully through, um, uh, new procedures, you know, offering a better product. Um, next slide, please. Um, as you can see, uh, we are global. We have 25 manufacturing facilities um, worldwide. Actually, that number has just jumped to 26 since we just opened a brand new facility in Morocco and 18 on-site research and development sites. So um, what makes us different um, basically is our culture. We are family owned and we have a very strong emphasis on the work family balance. So what makes us strong in our industry are the people that work for us, um, highly diverse workforce. So, um, sorry, the slides seem to be changing pretty fast. <laughs> so currently we are, like I said, we're a food manufacturer. We have, we're looking for people who are com comfortable in a factory work environment, which is fast paced. And we are currently growing, seeking up to between 95 and 100 brand new employees. Uh, what we are currently, our project right now is uh, a year ago, this April, we suffered a fire, losing two large you know, buildings and several lines. Um, nobody was hurt in those fires, which, is, which we thank God for. But instead of it slowing us down, we decided to invest again immediately. And this April, we'll be opening two brand new buildings. So that's what we're 
and we're currently looking for a whole host of brand new, you know, um, sites to fill. Um, next slide, please. So those are currently just a few of the of the much needed positions that we're looking to fill, which are electromechanic um, positions, technicians, uh, production workers, and those are the people that are actually right on the production line, like packers, pickers, and such uh, forklift operators. Other maintenance mechanics, they're a little bit different than the electromechanical technicians. Um, these are more specialized towards pneumatic and hydraulic um, equipment, marketing analysts. Um, what didn't make the list now is we have openings for QC technicians, supervisors, and leads, sanitation technicians as well, as well as production line leads, supervisors, and managers. Um, next slide, please. So um, the a quick way to find out what are um, all the positions that are opening, uh, please log on to newlywedsfoods.com slash company slash careers, and that's going to show you all the openings we have available immediately. Um, also, what are we looking for when we're hiring? So like I stated, the, it's our people that makes us stand out. Being a food manufacturer, we're considered a, an essential business, uh, 24 hour, you know, seven days a week operation. And that does not happen easily. The companies like ours that have been around over 80 years are basically um, there because of the people that work for us. On average, most of our employees are with us between, they're over 10, 15 years, and we do have workers that have been with us as long as 40 years. So that kind of culture, that kind of um, diversity is only found like with people that truly, truly understand what it's like to work for a great company such as ours. Um, next slide, please. The hiring process is actually pretty easy. Um, you're just gonna log on to the, the website that you see there on your screen, um, slide, uh, click on companies and click on careers. So where we're hiring mainly is in our Chicago plant, which is labeled just Chicago when you log on there. Um, also, next slide, please, sorry. Again, you apply online. So once you apply online, that information is brought to me and my recruiting team. We will contact you via phone for a phone screening interview at first, um, check your qualifications, your experience, and make sure that they match with what we're looking for. The next step will be to put you in front of the hiring managers uh, for, for those departments, and they will have the, the, the final say um, on who we bring on board. Um, next slide, please. Um, we kept it very simple. Sorry, I sounded a little nervous. But um, that's basically the, the presentation. I hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your presentation, Oscar. If you do have any questions regarding employment at Newlyweds Foods, please feel free to enter those into the chat. And again, we'll get those answered for you during Q&A. Our next presenter is North Shore University Health. Haley, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Good morning, everybody. And I'm really excited to be talking to everybody. And I look forward to Friday to get the chance to talk to everyone on more of a personal level. But just wanted to start off by saying that, again, my name is Haley Prozac. I've been with North Shore for about four years now. And I am an employment specialist with our talent acquisition team. I focus mainly on staffing our medical group and assisting with our corporate recruitment as well. You can go to the next slide, please. Thanks. So North Shore um, is one of the top teaching hospitals in the Chicagoland area. We currently have five hospitals located in Evanston, Glenview, Highland Park, Skokie, and in Chicago with our newest Swedish Covenant Hospital. We also have over 140 medical group locations spanning from the northern neighborhoods of Chicago all the way up to Gurney, which is just... Um, just south of Wisconsin. So we do have both primary care and specialty care offices in our medical group. And we also have immediate care locations throughout the area. Um, in the past two years, we've continued to expand by partnering with Swedish Hospital and our newest partner is now Northwest Community Healthcare. This has helped us um, put in place or I'm so sorry, this has helped us, you know, reach as many individuals as we can in our communities that we serve. 
Um, we've also added 50 immediate care locations throughout the area, which has played an instrumental role in our COVID response by providing both testing sites and care for our patients. Um, in the next coming weeks and months, we will be providing COVID vaccines to our patients at different clinics in the area. Um, and all this growth has not only benefited the communities that we serve, but it has also increased the number of job openings, which we have, um, which we can talk about in a little bit here. So if you could please go to the next slide. So before discussing our job op opportunities, I just wanted to briefly discuss some of the awards and recognition that we've received throughout the years. So North Shore has been recognized as one of the nation's top 100 hospitals and a top and a top major teaching hospital by IBM Watson and Health. Um, we've also received magnet recognition in the past years and we earned magnet redesignation in 2019. Um, that's something that only that is only achieved by 6% of hospitals nationwide. So we are really proud of that. In addition to the system-wide awards and recognitions that we have received, we also you know, think it's really important to recognize all of our current employees by providing service values awards and loyalty leader awards so that all of our employees can be recognized for all of the hard work that they put in day after day. Next slide, please. So for our available opportunities, um, we have about over 500 open, open opportunities spanning from clinical to non-clinical, the corporate research positions, we have you know, a variety of different open roles. So the positions that are currently listed on this slide are the roles that we typically have available the most. So um, we have more entry-level roles such as a medical assistant or a patient care tech to more mid-level technician positions all the way up to registered nurses and um, physical therapists, physicians. On our non-clinical non side, we do have uh, call center positions, customer service representatives. We have patient support associates, which help out at our medical group offices, registering patients. Um, and then we also have, you know, more on the corporate side, our health information technology group. We have marketing, finance, foundation, you name it, we have it. So we do have a variety of open positions that, you know, come up throughout the year um, and we do host our own version of a virtual career fair. So actually next week we will be hosting virtual hiring events for our patient access representative role and also our public safety officer role. So if you would like more information, please feel free to um, send an email. I can put in the chat the two email boxes that you can register for those hiring events. Um, and then next slide, please. So how to apply pretty simple. You just head over to our website, www.northshore.org slash careers. You can create a general profile, um, which goes through, you know, your past experiences and also your education, all that information. Um, be sure to upload a copy of your resume that I think is one of the biggest reasons that people's applications can be denied if they do not upload a copy of their resume. Um, and then once you have a general profile, you can go and search through positions based on the location that you're interested in, the job field that you have, um, the different schedules such as, you know, day shift, PM shift or overnight. Um, you can do it by, you know, what you're interested in getting into and whatnot. Um, once you submit your application and your resume, that will be reviewed by the recruiters and then the recruiters will go ahead and reach out if they if they see it fit for the position. So um, I know I didn't mention this in my slide, but we do also offer a variety of benefits for all of our employees. So we do offer health, dental, and vision benefits. We have 401k matching, PTO, um, and then also tuition reimbursement because our, a lot of our employees are looking to further their education, which we find to be really great. So we definitely wanna make sure that we can help them with their, um, with their education goals by providing that tuition reimbursement. So again, I look forward to meeting everybody um, a little bit more on a personal level on Friday. And I will go ahead and provide those email addresses in the chat here in a few minutes. But I also look forward to the Q&A session in a little bit. So thank you, everybody.
Thank you so much for your presentation, Haley. If you do have any questions regarding employment at North Shore, please feel free to enter those into the chat. And again, we'll get those answered for you here shortly. Our next presenter is Northwestern Medicine. Amanda, are you available to present? Hi, everyone. My name is Amanda Tagney. I work with Northwestern Medicine. I wanted to start off by thanking you for having me here today. I'm really excited to speak to you about some of our opportunities that we have. So again, my name is Amanda Tagney. I work in our human resources department. I am a program coordinator with our talent acquisition team, and I have been with Northwestern for, it'll be seven years next month. So I've had the opportunity to work with quite a few teams across our system. We have now grown to be 11 hospitals across the Chicagoland area. Our largest and um, most recognizable hospital is our downtown campus, Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Um, we are composed of clinical and non-clinical physicians. We're an academic medical institution. And um, you'll see here our team, we're Eaton an equal opportunity employer. We're really excited about growing our system. You may have heard as of January 1st this year, we actually just brought on Palos Health. So we are expanding our um, opportunities and care to patients to even more parts of Illinois. Thank you. So talking about our values, these four words or phrases come to mind. And this is what we're looking for in our employees that work with, with Northwestern Medicine. At the forefront, patients first. That's what we um, strive for on a daily basis. We want to make sure our patients are taken care of, especially right now with everything going on with COVID. We like to think of if we have a family member or friend who's needing care, what type of employees and staff and um, nurses and doctors do we want working with our, our loved ones? And then integrity. So this is our code of ethics. We are looking for honest and sincere individuals to work at our organization. Teamwork. Um, I know there's a lot of individual positions that people work in, but we like to think of it as if we have team successes over personal successes, that's opening the lines of communications between the clinical and non-clinical side, which goes back to our patient's first mission. We're always wanting to make sure that our patients are getting the best care possible. And then lastly, excellence. We are making sure that we strive to just be better on a daily basis. We think that best could be an endpoint, but if we're always striving to be better, we know that medicine is always changing and evolving. So better is what we're always striving for. And then taking a look at our numbers, we are now 11 hospitals across Chicagoland. Our downtown campus, Northwestern Memorial Hospital, is ranked number one in Illinois by US News and World Report. And we're number 10 across the nation. We are affiliated with the Feinberg School of Medicine, which is ranked number 18 in the United States. And four of our hospitals are magnet designated. We do have over 4,400 physicians. We have approximately 36,000 employees across our 11 hospitals. We've been awarded over $443 million in research grants. And then we've also provided over $747 million um, to the communities. So our employees are working hard and we're really proud of all of our accomplishments. Great. So taking a look at our benefits, this is something that we're really proud of and our human resources leaders, we are always listening to what is important to our employees. So just to name a few, on top of all of the medical, dental, um, 401k, we have so much more to offer. We have a well-being reimbursement account. We have um, a healthy paid time off PTO plan. We have opportunities to grow your career. So if you're an employee and looking to go back to school to get additional certifications or higher education, we help cover the cost for that. We also have tuition assistance and student loan repayment. So if you're making any active student loans, we're helping you pay those down up to $100 every month. Um, we have a professional development plan. So if you are interested in 
going to conferences or symposiums or anything that aligned with your career, um, we help cover those costs as well. Employee assistance. So that's a big one. We have what's called our NM Academy, where we have come up with hotlines and tip sheets and tutorials and all different resources. We know right now with COVID, um, it can be mentally and physically exhausting in the healthcare field. So we have some really great resources to help our employees. And I didn't put on here, but um, I'll put into the chat box a link to our career page and our main website. So our application process is really straightforward. So you'll see here is the link to apply. So jobs.nm.org, if you head over to our career page, you'll just search for the types of positions you're looking for. We currently have almost 1,400 open positions across all of our hospitals. So once you narrow down to your top three to five positions, go ahead and submit those applications and that's sent over to our recruitment team. We do have over 60 recruiters across our system. So I would be more than happy to be a resource for you. And I'll actually add Hi there, Amanda. I believe you were placed on mute. Can you unmute yourself? Oh, there, you there go. we go. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll go ahead and put in my information to the chat box. So if you apply to any positions or have any questions about our process, feel free to reach out. I would love to be a resource for you. And I would just like to thank everyone for your time and consideration today. Thank you so much for your presentation, Amanda. If you do have any questions regarding employment with Northwestern Medicine, please feel free to enter those into the chat and we'll get those answered for you. Next up, we have Sonico. Lorena, are you available to present? I am available, thank you. Can everyone hear me okay? Loud and clear. Good. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Lori Tiwan. I am a recruiter for Sonoco Products Company. Today, I will provide you with information about who we are as a company, what we do and what opportunities we have currently available at our location in Franklin Park. And I'll give you some information about what we offer our candidates. So first I'll give you some information on who we are at Sunoco. As I'm sure you've heard our name, but I bet you're thinking we are the gas company. Sunoco is a $5 billion packaging company that has been in business for 122 years. It is headquartered in Hartsville, South Carolina. We have a global presence in 36 countries with 140 locations in the US and over 20,000 employees globally. What we do here, we offer packaging solutions for the consumer, industrial, protective, and healthcare industries. So our items can be found on shelves at your local grocery stores, at fast food restaurants, at your doctor's office, and at pharmacy. Some of the items that we manufacture are pictured on the right. So as I stated, I'm currently recruiting for our Sunoco facility called ClearPack, which is located in Franklin Park. ClearPack is an $80 million plastics packaging company that has been in business since 1968. ClearPack was acquired by Sunoco in 2007. And there they manufacture plastic trays that are used in frozen and microwavable meals. And they make the plastic dip sauce cups that McDonald's and Wendy's put their sauces in and include in their value meals to their customers. At the facility, they have about 200 employees in the office and at the manufacturing floor. What we offer you. At Sunoco ClearPack, we pay our employees weekly every Thursday. They offer growth opportunities. So if you come in as a packer, you can move up and become a machine troubleshooter and then get forklift certified and become a driver. We have multiple departments at the plant that you can move into if you do a good job at your role. So that could be an option that is afforded to you. There are also, as I previously stated, multiple Sunoco facilities located throughout the US with 11 locations in Illinois where you can further your career. At ClearPack, we, oh, he's still back. <laughs> still had a little bit more. <laughs> at ClearPack, we are currently offering bonuses. 
so we have a referral bonus if you get hired and you refer your friends or family and they get hired we pay you five hundred dollars per hire and there's no cap as to how many people you can refer we are also providing a one thousand dollar retention bonus for some of our roles that is paid out in installments as a thank you for choosing to work for sunoco clear Pack. we do offer benefits for full-time employees those being medical, dental, vision, 401k, tuition reimbursement, and paid vacation time. And we also offer work at a stable and consistent company. Next slide, please. We are looking for people to join our team. We have many opportunities available, some skilled roles, um, some entry level at Franklin Park. We are looking for full and part-time packers, extrusion operators, journeyman, maintenance technician, maintenance tool team helper, a maintenance clerk, inventory clerk, and a quality technician. Next slide, please. To uh, view more detailed information about the job descriptions or to see all open opportunities at any solo Sunoco location, you can visit our careers page, careers.sunoco.com, or send me your resume for consideration. My email is listed on this slide, and I can always put you into touch with another recruiter on our team. Thank you all very much for your time. Thank you so much for that presentation, Laurie. If anyone has any questions regarding employment at Sunoco, uh, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, uh, please yes, feel free perfect. to enter those. Please feel free to enter those in the chat. We'll get those answered for you. Thank you so much, Laurie. And our final presenter for today is Worldwide Flight Services. Patrice, are you available to present? And Patrice, looks like you have paired your account with a phone. So if you press star six, you should be able to unmute yourself. And Patrice, you were unmuted briefly. You'll want to press star six once more. Looks like you're unmuted, Patrice. Can you uh, speak? Okay, great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's you great to uh, with all of you today. Can you hear me? We can. Okay, great. All right. So uh, I'm Patrice Brazil. I am the human resource manager for the central area for Worldwide Flight Services. In this position, I handle every area as far east as uh, Cleveland and as far west as Cedar Rapids and St. Louis. So I'm involved in um, every area of recruiting. I'm assisting with nationwide hiring for our company, and today I'm going to talk about the openings that we have specifically at Chicago O'Hare International Airport. You know, I remember all too well when I was uh, once in a room just like this one. I was getting ready to graduate from college and I didn't have a position set up yet. I didn't think at that point that I was ever gonna find a job. It seemed like it took a lifetime then for me to find the right position. But I want you to know that I did find it and believe me, you'll find the right fit for yourselves as well. Worldwide Flight Services is hiring in all aspects and in all positions at our facilities. We're already a large organization and we're constantly growing rapidly. We have over 20,000 employees in the United States and we have another 12 to 15,000 in our offices worldwide. We have over 171 locations, over five continents throughout the world. Even though we are a large company, we treat all of our employees like family and we work hard to make sure that we meet the needs of our employees individually. We offer a full uh, area of benefits to our full-time employees, and that includes medical, dental, vision, disability, life insurance, indemnity coverage for accidents, illness, or hospitalization. And we offer benefits to our part-time employees as well, such as dental and vision. We're a leading provider at Worldwide Flight Services of cargo logistics. So we help our clients handle cargo shipments from all over the world. We handle uh, the shipment of cell phones, computers, TVs, monitors, 
clothing, china, crystal, cologne, liquor, appliances, handbags, shoes, almost anything that you can think of um, that is being shipped out or is made overseas, we receive it. So we prepare the cargo that goes through customs at uh, the U.S. office at O'Hare, prepare for the approved cargo for distribution to our local truckers who are retained to collect that cargo and take it to the local distribution areas. So I urge each of you to uh, carefully look at the positions that we do offer at uh, Worldwide Flight. If you can go on to the next slide. We offer positions in office work, material handling. We have positions uh, that are offered 24 hours a day. Our office never closes. We have morning positions that are from 8 a.m. to 4.30 in the morning. We have afternoon positions from 4.30 to midnight. We have overnight positions that may be from uh, midnight to 8.30 in the morning or things that are earlier. We offer part-time positions from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tuesday through Friday and midnight to 5 a.m. positions that go from Tuesday through Friday every week. So those positions are great for people who are looking for a little extra money or people who are currently uh, in school full time or people who are just looking for something to supplement their income while they're raising their family. So we offer a little bit for uh, everyone. If you can go on to the next slide. We ask all of our applicants to complete a comprehensive application. We interview and offer our positions the same day. Our background process is a federal TSA Homeland Security background check of employment history, a 10-year criminal background check, and a drug screen for federally prohibited drugs. We do promote heavily from within whenever we can, and we offer complete training for all of our employees to give them a full chance to move up through our workforce. I look forward to all of you joining us, and thank you for listening. Also, thank you to the group that is putting together this job fair. I think it's going to offer us a great opportunity to fill the 50 jobs that we have available right now. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you for that uh, brief presentation, Patrice. We appreciate it. And if you do have any questions for Worldwide Flight, please feel free to enter those in the chat. We'll get those answered for you now. Uh, just as an FYI to the folks that are on the call, we are running a bit behind schedule, so we will be adjusting uh, the time that we will be setting aside for Q&A. So we're gonna set aside approximately 20 minutes or so uh, for the purposes of Q&A. So without further ado, I'll kind of explain how that process is gonna work. First and foremost, I'm gonna primarily be taking a look at the chat section for questions that have been asked by participants. Uh, if we do run out of questions within that time, which I don't believe will be the case, but if we do, what we will do is just work our way sequentially through all of the employers who presented here today. I will just um, pose some kind of standardized questions for you. Nothing should throw you for a loop. It's probably questions that you've been asked uh, dozens of times during the interview process before. So. While I'm taking a look at the chat section, I'm gonna ask just a generalized question for all the employers uh, that are still on the call. So we'll start with Arlene at Amazon and then work our way again through the list all the way to worldwide flight. So the question that I have for you, Arlene, is how can a candidate stand out and get an interview assuming they're qualified for the position in which they are applying? Hi, Daniel, so uh, with our Position that I am currently hiring for. These are for warehouse associates or Whole Foods shoppers. Um, with this, they will just need to pass an assessment on the application. And the assessment is graded from low to moderate, high, highest. If and our team, sorry to interrupt, but your audio is cutting in and out. I'm not sure if you are far away from your microphone, but you'll need to move closer if that is the case. Let me go ahead. There you go. Does it sound better? Yeah, much clearer. So if you can go ahead and give that response once more, that would be fantastic. Yes. Um, so the Whole Foods Shopper and Warehouse Associate positions just require an assessment to be completed on the application. 
there is no interview process, um, but the assessment is graded uh, between low, moderate, high, or highest. You want to receive a moderate or above. And if unable to pass the assessment, you will have 90 days that your application will be on hold until you can apply again. Fantastic. Thank you, Arlene. Same question will be posed to CVS. Tracy, are you still on the line? And Tracy, I see you are on the line, but you will need to unmute yourself to answer that question, please. Yes, I am here. Can you hear me now? I can. Yes, so um, the way that um, one could st can stand out uh, during the application process, or I should say the selection process, is to focus on our values. So um, if you've done any research um, on CVS Health during your application process, right, you, you sought us out, you want to know a little bit more about our organization, um, you know, we, we spend a lot of time talking about our culture. And one of, the, one of the, the values that I mentioned during our presentation is innovation. So we look for individuals that, um, you know, that uh, have a curious mind, individuals that will question the status quo and, and offer recommendations on how something can be done differently. In addition to innovation, another value that, um, other values that we, that, that, a, that we value in a candidate is the ability to care for other people, for, for other people, you know, walking in their shoes, be very empathetic. Um, you want to be highly collaborative. Our environment within CVS Health is highly collaborative. Um, so you're, you're working with other individuals and, you know, it's an environment where opinions will not be suppressed. Um, and then the other value that we also um, you know, they're, they're, uh, that we, we look for in candidates is your integrity um, and um, being accountable. And so those are the, the types of values that you will want to demonstrate in your responses to questions that will be asked of you by a hiring leader. They may say, for example, can you provide me a time when, you know, um, you had to work with, uh, you know, a difficult person to, you know, get a project done. You know, can you, can you walk us through that process? Tell me about it. And so you'll want to focus again on the value of collaboration. So I hope that's helpful. Thank you so much for that response, Tracy. You're Next, welcome. we have Fifth Third Bank. Heather, are you available to answer that question as well? I am available. Thank you. Um, I would say, um, similar to what Tracy just said, you know, being accountable and in integrity is a huge component um, that we look for during the interview process. Um, a lot of times with our questions, we're finding out more about different scenarios that you've been involved with in your previous employers. Um, and then another big thing is showcasing your skill set, even though you may not have um, the skills pertaining to like a financial industry, you know, for banking, whatnot, there's a lot of skills that you may have from prior positions that are transferable uh, for these type of um, banking positions. So really showcasing what uh, you've done in the past and showing us how they are transferable over to this type of position, um, coming prepared and, you know, have, being able to answer questions and, and give examples is really important as well. We want to be able to understand kind of your um, work ethic and things that you've done in the past with your positions. That's really important in our interview process. Fantastic. Thank you for that response, Heather. Flex, I don't believe we have Fernando on the line still. So Alta, are you available to answer that question? Hi, Daniel. Uh, yes, please. Oh, you can go ahead and answer um, that question. Okay, sorry about that. Um, no yes, different areas that we look for, um, of course, is background. Um, if a um, applicant wants to apply on the website, um, look for the background and the skills. Um, you know, um, for on a, you know, of course, a good resume or a CV. Um, but also during the interview process, looking for soft skills. 
um, looking for um, scenarios or, you know, highlighted areas in the past, um, previous experience um, of things, um, like mentioned before, um, transferable skills that would work. Um, and just like I said, soft skills, um, fitting along with the team and fitting in with the culture is very important also. Fantastic. Thank you, Alton. Next, we have Thank DHS. You. Amelia, are you available to answer that question as well? may not have Amelia on the line. Yes, so. here I am. Sorry. Okay. No worries. Feel free to answer that question. Can you repeat question. the question? I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. How can a candidate stand out and get an interview assuming they are qualified for the position in which they are applying? I would definitely say, um, because we go through a grading process with applications, so definitely make sure you are reading the posting, you understand the positions, the responsibilities, the requirements. And when you complete your application, you know, don't short yourself with uh, any previous experience that you may have, including volunteer internships. Definitely include that because we don't include that on your application. We don't just look at, um, you know, like your current experience. We really look at, um, all experience that you've done. It's not just about the quantity, but also um, the type of experience. Um, definitely highlight, um, you know, your experiences in college, if there's any uh, volunteer experience, include that. And be very thorough and detail on your application. Um, something you may not know when it comes to grading applications with CMS, uh, and so, sometimes applicants think that because they've attached a resume that they don't really have to be as detailed with the application. But when we review your, uh, your application, we don't really um, take in consideration your resume because at the end of the day, the application is the legal document. So if it's not on the CMS 100, you will not get credit for it. So you definitely want to make sure that your application is thorough, detailed, complete, the information is accurate, truthful, because um, that's what ultimately is going to either get you on the A list, the B list, or the C list. And as positions become available in the counties that you selected as your preferred counties on your application, we're always going to first contact the individuals on the A list, then the B list, then the C list. In some cases, we may never get to the C list because there are enough individuals on the A list or the B list to fill the vacancy. So um, uh, definitely, you know, as far as I'm reading the chat here, um, I would recommend if you are bilingual, we serve uh, citizens from all over. So uh, definitely if you are bilingual, we are always looking for individuals that can communicate with our clients. Soft skills, um, you know, we want someone who's personable, who's empathetic, who is, um, who can communicate with our customers, who understand um, our customers. Um, individuals that are uh, that have that passion to serve and support um, great customer service, uh, individuals that are willing to go above and beyond. Uh, so that's those are my recommendations as far as improving your candidacy with the state. I will also mention you want to be patient. Again, CMS hires for the entire state of Illinois. So I've you know, I often hear, I applied and I haven't heard yet right now because of, um, you know, our current circumstances with the pandemic, grading is taking 10 to 11 weeks. So, um, you know, again, be very patient. Obviously, we understand if there are other job offers, you know, you have to do what you have to do. But whenever you do receive the phone call from or the email from CMS, definitely, you know, compare what we're offering to where you may be working or any other offers that may be pending, but really compare apples to apples. And um, overall, uh, the agency has many, many opportunities. You can move it, you know, promote within our own agency or the other 59 agencies that work, um, you know, under CMS. 
Fantastic. Thank you for that thorough response, Emilio. Uh, the next organization uh, that can answer that question would be Newlyweds Foods. Oscar, are you still available? Hi, yes, I'm here. Thank you. So um, great question. Um, being a food manufacturer, it's it's a different world than, than most people may have some experience with. So it is a fast paced factory setting, but we also have a great deal of food safety uh, regulations that people need to learn from and we do train very heavily on that. And so having a food manufacturing background would definitely be a help. Um, I hear from my colleagues on the call, the, the word soft skill um, mentioned a lot and that's very important because communication, the, well, the way you get along with your employees, other employees, your supervisors is all very important. Um, we have a culture of, we have an open door policy culture here and Basically, anybody who, any one of our employees has access to any other supervisor or to health or to human um, <clears throat> resources at all times, <clears throat> excuse me, because basically we promote that type of work environment that we wish for you to be comfortable uh, working with us. And um, so being able to communicate is, is essential. It is a very fast paced um, environment. So people that have that kind of background is also would also be very helpful. <clears throat> Excuse me, going a little horse here. And let me see. I think I was going to mention one more thing, but no, I think that basically um, does cover it. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, North Shore University, Haley, are you available to answer that question as well? Hi. Yes, I am. So I think um, some things that come to the you know front of my mind when I think of ways to stand out during the interview process for candidates is just really being personable like everyone else said I mean I think it's really important especially in in the healthcare world to show during the interview that you can have a positive and friendly attitude um, I mean if you think about it all of our positions whether or not they're clinical or non-clinical or even just in our corporate space um, we're all in some way helping our patients and, you know, and helping the community too. So we just want to make sure that we can find individuals who, um, you know, who have that positive and friendly personal personality, who can show empathy. Um, those are some pretty big things. And during the interview process, we do ask questions that are geared towards previous experiences with, you know, different interactions with um, patients coworkers, customers, and whatnot. And so um, one thing that always stands out to me when I interview candidates is when they can really draw back on specific experiences and provide me with a lot of detail. I think that's really helpful during the interview process because then it gives me a, a good idea of how you know the candidate can face that situation in the future. Um, also, I think it's really important to list all of your work experience, even though I mean, even if you have work experience that's not directly in the healthcare field, it, you know, there can be positions that have similar responsibilities or qualifications that are needed um, that would be helpful. And, and that does count towards um, any offers that we provide. We do take a look back at your previous experience. Um, lastly, I think it's just really important to read through the entire job description, especially um, you know, when we have the hours and locations listed, it's so important to make sure that you are applying to a position that really fits well with any, you know, locations or, you know, your lifestyle and, and then your hours and everything. It's really important to um, apply to those positions so that when you do get to the point of the interview, um, it's pretty seamless from there. So I think that's all, all of the points that I wrote down for standing out during the interview process. Fantastic. Thank you for that response. Haley, Northwestern Medicine. Amanda, uh, are you available to answer that question as well? Yes, of course. Um, I'd just like to mirror everything that everyone else said. These are all great tips and everything I agree with from my end. A few things to add to what everyone else was explaining was I think just making sure you're familiar with our website. So you can do a very quick Google search looking on the website and being familiar with our organization and being able to speak to those points. So if you're familiar with our mission and vision and values, I think that'll help you stand out against some of the other candidates that are applying for that position as well. 
And then we're also looking for it, the soft skills, good communication skills, being able to give good examples. Um, something to point out before the interview process is making sure your resume is just easy to read. Um, try to keep it to one to two pages if possible. Um, make sure your contact information is on there. I've had quite a few resumes past my desk with no email, no phone number. So we didn't have an easy way to connect with you to um, learn more about you. So just making sure that it's easy for our recruiters to read. Um, keep in mind, our recruiters will review resumes and applications and we'll share those with our hiring teams or our reviewing committees. So something that's easy for us, so a PDF, the way you save your file, make sure it's easy for us to open. So these are all things that are going to help you just advance through the process. And then typically the next step after a phone screening would be a video interview. Um, I think we've reached a point with the pandemic that instead of bringing individuals on our in-person for on campus for an interview is we're starting to really utilize video interviews. So please use those video interviews as if it was a real interview because it is. So dressing professionally, having copies of your resume ready, these are all things that I recommend at those early stages. And then if you do have a contact information for the recruiter you've been working with, sending a quick follow-up email will help stand out as well, just thanking the team for their time. And I think all of those are, are some tips that really stand out when I'm looking at candidates and working with um, potential prospects. Fantastic, thank you, Amanda. Sonica, are you available to answer that question as well, Lori? Yes, I am. Um, so to stand out on a resume, I would say, just like everyone has iterated, show all relevant experience on your application for the job that you're applying for. And in the, in the uh, description section, highlight important responsibilities that you held in those roles that you think would help you for the current role that you're applying for. For Sunoco, we are a manufacturing facility, so experience in a manufacturing setting or in a role that was repetitive and physical will get you in the door. At that point, one of our recruiters will schedule a phone screen with you. On the phone screen, do indicate that you're self-motivated, show that you're a team player, you can work well with others, that you can be trained should you not meet all the criteria of the job and have a positive attitude. Um, do show that you are safety conscious as we do value safety at Sunoco. We want you to go home the same way that you came in. Fantastic, thank you, Lori. And our final uh, presenter that we have yet to hear from Worldwide Flight, Patrice, do you wanna answer that question? Sure, could you repeat the question for me? Yeah, absolutely. It is, how can a candidate stand out and get an interview assuming they're qualified for the position in which they are applying? We will have to keep it somewhat brief, uh, Patrice, as we will have an additional presentation we will need to transition to. Sure. Um, standing out as a candidate for us um, is pretty simple. You're going to fill out an application, um, which I think mirrors many of the other um, presenters' answers. You can submit your resume but your application is the legal document and, and that's what we really look at the most. We wanna see that you've completed it and filled out the information about where you worked either for the last 10 years or for every year since you graduated from high school, whichever comes first. We hire a lot of entry level employees. So we get a lot of people who are fresh out of high school but they've never had a job before or they've only had a couple of jobs like working at a fast food restaurant or something like that. Working at the airport is a lot different because it is a very security sensitive area, as you can well imagine. The easy part is uh, filling out that application. The hard part is going through that background check and looking at everything that's happened with you within the last 10 years. It can take a long time, depending on how quickly we can get your information back. Sometimes when uh, they're looking for background information or criminal background information, it takes a while because the state police is backed up. But we look at every application. If you apply for a position with us, we're going to look at it. Generally, I'm looking at it myself. 
So we bring everybody in who has filled out the application, filled it out with all of the information that we need, and we talk with you about the position, and you're going to find out from us whether or not it's going to be a fit for you. Fantastic. Thank you for that response, Patrice. And unfortunately, with that uh, final response that we received, we're going to have to end Q&A to keep ourselves still on track. Uh, for the job seekers that are still on the call, I would highly encourage you to uh, save those kind of more specific, targeted, granular questions that you have for the interview sessions tomorrow. Those That will be a prime opportunity to, to get those answered for you. So please, again, keep track of those questions and feel free to ask those of the employer reps uh, tomorrow. Next up, we're going to have a brief overview of the local resources that are available to job seekers within the 8th District. Uh, Ch Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership will actually be conducting that presentation. Tanya, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm going to keep this very, very brief. Uh, my name is Tanya Cody Robinson, and joining me is our one of our regional managers for the 8th District, Dora Rando. Dora, are you on the line? Uh, okay. Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning. And Dora, if you would like to begin with uh, what we do for the job seekers, and then I'll just wrap it up for, um, the, we'll just go back and forth really quick. Okay, so you can start. Next slide, please. Okay, the Chicago Cook Workforce uh, Partnership is an umbrella organization operating the public workforce system in the city of Chicago and Cook County. Uh, to date, the partnership has helped place more than 70,000 individuals into employment, and we've also collaborated with more than 2,000 employers. Uh, we have administered more than $300 million in federal and philanthropic uh, funds. Our vision is to uh, is that every person has the opportunity to build a career. Every business has the talent to grow and compete in a global economy. Our mission is to create, promote, and effectively manage a network of workforce development organizations that assist both job seekers and businesses. Next slide. Tanya. Now Yes, as in a nutshell, what we do is pretty much what we did today. We're servicing the employer's needs by introducing this event so that we can match pre seekers to employment opportunities that the employers are representing. And at the bottom of the grid here, it shows our different uh, sectors of employment, which includes transportation, distribu distribution, and logistics. Next slide, please. Here, uh, it gives you a highlight overview of our American Job Centers. We have 10 um, American Job Centers that are funded. This is what they do in terms of uh, networking with the job seekers and the community at large. And over to the right, it just gives us a list of the business services that we uh, provide and that we coordinate with, such as job postings, virtual uh, recruitment events, as I mentioned, matching job seekers, industry specific, skills credit, uh, different credits that are available and business services such as on the job training, incumbent worker customized and even apprenticeship programs. Next slide, please. Okay, WIOA is a federally funded uh, workforce program and it's designed to help job seekers access employment, education, training and support services. And it also matches employers with skilled workers. Our workforce centers have trained career coaches and job developers that assist job seekers in accessing these services. Some of our services are currently being offered virtually or by appointment only. Uh, we offer training and employment opportunities in the seven industries listed in the chart below. Next slide. And here in terms of business services, again, this is just a bird's eye view of our job fair and our overview process as it relates to on the job training, pay work experience and virtual job fairs. All of this information will be shared with you post event. And as Daniel mentioned, it will be available on um, YouTube, but it pretty much gives you a highlight of other business services that we have available at no cost to you. So we're one of the best kept secrets and we're the largest workforce board in the nation. Thank you. 
Thank you so much to the folks at Chicago Cook for that presentation. We are now going to pivot to an overview of resources available to veterans and spouses uh, with IDES. Marlena, are you available to present? This is Marlena Raglan. I'm a DVOP, which is an acronym for Disabled Veteran Outreach Program Specialist. Um, do not let the disabled in my title discourage you. The disabled actually refers to my status as a disabled veteran, um, as I am a retired Army veteran, as are all DVOPs and uh, leavers uh, retired from the military. Um, next slide, please. So here you see my acronym as well as LVER. LVER LEVER stands for Local Veteran Employment Representative. The state of statewide Illinois is authorized 22 DVOPs and 18 LEVERS. We are considered JVSG staff. JVSG stands for Jobs for Veterans State Grants under the umbrella of IDES, which is the Illinois Department of Employment Security. Um, we are fully funded uh, like 99 Point whatever percent by the federal government, Department of Labor, and these are some of the things that they that they uh, kind of talk about when you are trying to become a DVOP. <coughs> Excuse me. It says must have a bachelor's degree. However, um, for a DVOP and lever, according to the state of Illinois requirement, it requires knowledge, skill, mental development equivalent to completion of four years of college with courses in social or behavioral sciences, business administration, or marketing. Um, it also requires other than dishonorable discharge from the armed services, as many veterans know that there are several different types, particularly uh, five different types of discharges that you can receive from the military, as long as it is not a dishonorable discharge. Um, you are uh, qualified and preference is given to qualified disabled veterans and other qualified veterans in that order. Same um, requirements are for uh, leavers uh, with the exception that leavers require one year professional experience in marketing, public relations or a related field. So DVOP duties. DVOPs are tasked with providing veterans with individualized career and training services. One of the challenges that veterans may face when seeking job opportunities is significant barriers to employment. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. Significant barriers to employment could include issues like substance abuse, mental health issues, homelessness. DVOP specialists provide intensive services to meet the employment needs of veterans and uh, disabled veterans and other eligible veteran, veterans with maximum emphasis directed towards serving those who are economically or educationally dis disadvantaged. Um, DVOP specialists are actively involved in outreach efforts to increase program participation among those veterans with the greatest uh, barriers to employment. Next slide. So going into the levers, the levers are levers, local veteran employment representatives. They advocate for job seeking veterans by serving as liaisons with employers and training providers. Levers conduct outreach to employers and engage in advocacy efforts with hiring executives to increase employment opportunities for veterans. They encourage the hiring of disabled veterans and generally assist veterans to gain and retain employment. The Lever staff conduct seminars for employers and job search workshops for veterans seeking employment, and they often facilitate priority of service in regards to employment training and placement services uh, furnished by veterans, for, I'm sorry, furnished to veterans by all staff of the employment um, service delivery system, i.e. IDES, AJCs, etc. Next slide. So to meet the specific, specific needs of veterans, particularly veterans with barriers to employment, DVOP and Lever staff are thoroughly familiar with the full range of do, job development services and training programs available at the State Workforce Agency One-Stop Career Centers, 
i.e. AJC's Department of Veterans Affairs, Vocational Rehab and Employment Program locations. If you are in search of a DVOP again, there are 22 of us uh, statewide. You can matriculate into our system in any number of ways and you will be able to reach out to us and we will look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation, Marlena. We are at our final kind of overview of presentation here for the folks that are still on the call. My colleague, David Garvey, will be going over uh, some of the resources that are available to you on Get Hired Illinois, as well as Illinois WorkNet. David. Thank you, Daniel. Good morning, everyone. My name is David Garvey, and I uh, work with Illinois WorkNet. And I wanted to remind you all that today's session is being recorded and will be made available on the employer booth pages in our virtual job fair area of all the employers who have presented today. I also wanted to provide a brief overview of the Get Hired website. This can be reached by entering illinois.gov slash get hired into your browser. And it'll take you to this landing page. And Get Hired Illinois is a web portal that's been designed to connect workers with available job and career training opportunities across the state of Illinois. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just to kind of go through where some of these buttons will take you, this job seekers click here button. This will take you to the landing page of Illinois job link and from here on this landing page you can uh, search for job postings that are available throughout Illinois. This other button down here virtual job fairs here that will take you to the Illinois WorkNet virtual job fair tool and here you can see which employers in Illinois are hiring by looking at their employer booth pages by clicking on one of these. And you may also find upcoming virtual job fair events by clicking the VJF events button and viewing the calendar of upcoming events. <clears throat> and finally, this online training opportunities button will take you to another page on Illinois WorkNet. And this includes training options that are available to you from community colleges to WIOA approved training programs, public and private programs, and apprenticeship opportunities. And then back over on Get Hired, uh, below these buttons, we have a few <clears throat> more buttons here where you can access unemployment insurance and additional resources through this page. And I'd like to point out that all the resources just mentioned are free to use for job seekers and will be accessible through this Get Hired Illinois page well beyond this week's event. And with that, I don't believe we have the Senator still on call, so I will turn it back over to Daniel to conclude. Thank you so much for that overview, David. Again, I just wanna thank all the folks, both job seeker and presenter alike who attended today. A lot of uh, thorough, wonderful, in-depth information that was covered here today. So we thank you all for providing that to folks who, again, you know, are seeking some employment opportunity. I just do wanna highlight that we do have one additional session available that will be taking place Friday 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Again, as you know, stated at the beginning of the session here, that will be uh, kind of interview sessions, if you will, small group interview sessions uh, with employers who presented here today. So as you'll see up on the screen here, uh, all the employers that you see there will be available to meet with you with the exception of Amazon. So please come ready to meet with those folks. Please come equipped with questions. We look forward to seeing you all again on Friday. Thank you all so much. We hope you have a wonderful day.